Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be doing a new and improved Zepeda tutorial. You may have already known that I did make a Zepeda tutorial like in 2019, so I want to do a new and improved version of Zepeda because, you know, when I came back on this app, so much has changed. I was sort of confused because there was so much going on, so I want to make a video and you know, just show all that for any new users or just, you know, if you want to learn more about Zepeda. So we're going to start with Profile. Profile is, you know, your main feed, what everyone sees when they maybe click on you and just view your profile. This is what they see. So to edit Profile, like your bio or your username, you literally just click Edit Profile. You're able to change your name, add a job, country, bio, you can also change your profile picture just by clicking the little camera icon and, ju and then just click tick as well. You can add a new character. This hasn't changed. You can still add, I'm pretty sure it was similar in the old version as well. You can just add a character and it's the normal way how to do it. Just buy it from here. You can do a quick add, like adding friends by just clicking this little add button. You can scan their code or just write their code or username in. Um, and to find your own code, you just have to click on the little box icon and you can either scan it, copy it, share it or save it and post it on your Instagram or something and then people can add you from there. Now one thing I was confused about when I came back on this app was how do I change my header? And I realized that was my room like later on, but <laughs> anyway, to change your room, you just have to click on this little, or you can just click on the header itself and then click character right here. And then you'd have to click this light icon right there. And now you're able to change your room however you want. I just kept it plain so my background would be plain. And then just click save and then go back and then you'll be able to see your header. You can also do this by just clicking this teeny icon, this little tiny person icon, and also go there as well. There's many ways to go to your closet area. Um, you're able to see tagged here, anything you're tagged in, people add you in. I find it so cute how you guys add me and stuff, even though they could be just random people, but I still find it cute. You can go to settings by clicking this little icon. For settings, you're able to change notifications i know i get a lot of notifications so sometimes i turn some things off um yeah account anything you need to know so let's just go back um to our closet so above the light icon we can see there's the creator icon where all these stuff are. Something I find cool that has changed now is if you go to clothing, right, and, and click what's new, you're able to arrange it how you want, like price high to low or whatever, or mine first. But anyway, I just never seen games do this and they should really add it, especially if it's like, you know, a customizing game and stuff like that. So I'm so glad Zepeto has added this. Also, I don't know if this is new, but they added a wish list feature so people can buy things from your wish list and gift them to you. To put things in your wish list, all you have to do is double tap, or not double tap, maybe tap two to three times on something. Let's just see, let's tap on this, like that. And then a heart will show up meaning it is added to your wish list or you could just click on it and just click detail and this is also another way you can heart it and it'll be saved on your wish list or you can gift it buy it and yeah do that stuff with that but also show other things you might like it's really just like any any normal online shopping thing which I find really cool how they did that because it feels like, you know, it's sort of real in a way. You can also do the same if you're, um, you know, customizing the top part of yourself. I'm pretty sure you can add things to your wish list. Let's just add something random. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just double tap 
or tap two to three times and hold. And yeah, it'll also hard it as well. So you can just do that. And to remove it, all you have to do is go to the heart icon and then do the same thing. Tap two, three times and hold. Or you could just, I do it this way, or just go to detail and just unclick that heart. And now it'll be removed. Easy peasy. I prefer that way because sometimes, I don't know why, but it takes me a while. If I just keep tapping on it and holding it, sometimes it doesn't work. So I just prefer that way. So to change nails, I think this is also a new feature like nails, watches, gloves, and those type of accessories. All you have to do is click ACC and that tops. Make sure you're in the tops icon thing. And then you're able to see any you know, accessories for your hands and stuff. Which is cool because I don't think this was here when um when I did the other tutorial. And that is that for the closet area and the profile. We will now go into feed. So the feed is you know like a normal any normal feed where the people you follow you see what they've posted or you can see what's for you and maybe you might see something you like and just, you know, all you gotta do is tap it and just like it, you can comment, like any normal like social media, which is really cool. And you can see following over here. You can see follow, what's new, what's trendy. And you can also click the search button, which once again, you can search for accounts um, the map or an item you're looking for, maybe if you know the keyword, like let's just for example write pink and then I don't know, it doesn't really show many pink things, but there's some outfits that are called pink and I think they're creator outfits, so they are customly made. And then, yeah, there's not really much to the feed, I don't really go in here that much <laughs> to be honest with you, but yeah is the feed. Now we're going to create. Crate is the main area where you would probably go into this game for. What I like about this as well is they made things into categories. It is really nice. I love when things are sorted into categories. It makes things easier to find. So you're able to go to your album and create something. You're able to go to your camera, if you're really onto your camera. A uh, photo booth, which is, you know, the normal, what else has you could have had before. Just, you know, they have so many now, which is, wow, it's just amazing to me. You can also categorize this by clicking this little corner icon at the right corner. And then you're able to choose how many, maybe how many people you want, maybe if you want it full or what kind, maybe two, I don't know, you click find and they'll find something for you which I find so cool. That makes it so helpful and easy to find things, like, <laughs> I think, oh my god, I love that in Zipetto, how they did that. You can also find like these things like challenge, daily, lovely, dance, all of these things which also are very handy if you're trying to look for something, look for a certain pose. Um, so let's go back to photo booth. Now we'll go to style. Style, style, you're able to post the outfit you're wearing. And you can also buy outfits from other people, but I'll get onto that later. But anyway, you can just post your outfit or choose anything you want. I won't post this right now because I am already, already posted this. Now we'll go to tune. Tune is where you create like comic things or webtoons. I never use this, if I'm being completely honest. I never use this, but I think it's pretty cool how people make these. Like, I find it so cool, like, whoa. Make your own little webtoon. But if you're really into that, this is how you do it. I don't know how to do it exactly, but yeah, this is how you do it. And you can just go to your profile and see your tunes are down. Okay, let's just go back to photo booth. I just want to see if anything else has changed. Let's just do this pose. Because I'm pretty sure you guys would know how to 
to edit the photos. You can also, uh, you know, click background, change the background. We'll just change it to, I don't know, we'll change my room. You know, like, yeah, um, we'll change it to that. And then you can also add a filter. Never seen this in the game either. <laughs> Adding a cute little filter if you want. You can add, if you tap on the smiley face, you're ab able to add props, which is really cool. Even a GIF. But anyway, this is just how you edit stuff. I don't know how long you want it. What I'm doing, I'm just adding stuff. But I think you can make really cool things with this. I don't really see many people use it, which is a shame because I think it'd be cool if you added like a little cute pose thing. Um, you can add text. I'm drawing high. <laughs> That's basically it from the crate side, which I am mostly in this area when I'm on Zipedo if I want to make something or post something. Next, we will go on to world. So this is world world is i think it's pretty new i it's been two years i don't remember much from the old zipetto but i don't think this was here this is basically just a little place where you can you know socialize or find new people to hang out with you know meet new people and just have a little chat have a little hangout it's cool because it's like 3d so let's just go into one more let's do um Let's do Awesome Wonderland. It gives you a description. So all you're gonna do is just click play. And it was just cool because now it's rotated. So now you're in like a, a landscape mode. So yeah, that is cool. That is such a cool thing that Zipetto has made. I find it so fascinating, to be honest, how a game like this can have so much, but yet I never hear people talking about it. But anyway, let's move on. This little world icon right here is where if you want local, like in your area type of thing, plus press the plus icon, and this is where, a, where you're able to create a room. You can hang out, you can add a title, and all this. Invite friends as well. So let's do all that. So that is all you can do in the world. Um, next, and but not least, is.
a little hangout space or where you can meet new people and join chat rooms. So you can literally join anybody's chat room. But sometimes they would need to accept you. All you have to do is click join. You can sometimes it'll be like how how do you want to introduce yourself? You can change the image here. You haven't got any pose. Changing the color. And then press complete. And then when you press complete again, it will then they will either accept you or you'd have to wait until you're fully joined. You can see notification. This is the notification. This is where you get notifications from the chat rooms that you have joined. You can create your own chat room by clicking the plus icon and you know organizing it how you want it to. You can also search over here as well. Search your name. Like say if I type in anime for example it will come up with anime chat rooms this is mine this is this will if you click my this where where this is where all your chat rooms that you have joined will come up in which is cool it's a fun little um area we can meet people next we have is events This will just tell you anything new or ongoing events or previous events and all that. And there's like contests and then you can um, be awarded these certain things and like what you have to do to be able to, you know, qualify and all that. Uh, then we have photo booth. Once again, it's an easy access way to go to photo booth and, you know, create your own pose and stuff there this is also new um no this wasn't new i think this was in the original zipetto but i think they added more games there's more games to play so these are cool you can do like little quizzes or you can um you know play games you can also go back to tune here <laughs> as well like these little like lover test emoji tests reminds me a lot of instagram as well there's games involved and there's also social media involved which is most games, but this game definitely took it up a notch. So that is play. Then style, also another place that I go to quite often, is where you're able to see um, others' outfits and maybe even buy them. And you can also post your own outfits and people might like them and buy them as well. I really go, I go in here like all the time to see, you know, what others are wearing, like... I just find it so cool and you can also follow them for more outfit inspirations and you know get creative with it you can click try it on and you can see yourself and how you look in the outfit you can click buy as well this gives me some movie star planet vibes as well because they have some they have some sort of similarities you can also untick things that you don't want or maybe that you already have but you know i already have these so it wouldn't matter and just click buy so let's just go back i know um this is also sorted into categories once again easy to find things um what you're looking for all that this is my profile right now i've only posted like two outfits <laughs> i really got to get on here more but yeah that is that i love going on style it's one of my favorites to do but you know also in the profile you're able to edit the profile on your you know in style and add a different pet profile you're also able to share it as well and you can also see you know save to your fave look and to do that is literally just by clicking on this bookmark icon like so and now it is saved to your favorite books you can also unsave it just click unsave or if you just click save again and maybe you want to unsave it later, maybe you just decide to unsave it, just go to saved, click on it, just press unsave just by clicking on it again. There you go. You can also like it just by hiding them. I find this really cool if you, um, you know, maybe you want to buy a style but you don't have enough money right now so you just want to save it because this updates like 
really fast like this was literally seconds ago and if I just keep refreshing it so many looks just keep coming and coming you can create a look by just clicking the little plus icon and you can just create your look from here and just post it um yeah but I'm not gonna post it right now because I already posted this so we looked at style now and then we got camera once again it's another shortcut to get to camera and if you go down you're able to see what's new trending poses friends you can add a friend by just clicking the add button and of course if you want to buy more coins or buy more gems or is, yeah any of those then all you have to do is all you have to do is just click the um corner icon right here and then you're able to buy it from here you know that as well as the character slot as well okay guys i think that's it for my video i basically talked about everything that you need to know about cipedo or every um main little parts but if you want me to go more in depth like for example maybe the characterization just like this part i can show you guys through on the on how you can change maybe your face or your hair or how to customize it i could do a video for that which would if you really want to know about that stuff I mean, if you i don't know if you just want to go look around in this game it could be fun you know posting characterizing and if you're just bored and just you know want to get creative make yourself this is a great app for like you know customization and being creative with their own character. I feel like I should go more out there as for creating a simple look. Thank you guys for everything and all that. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and write anything down below if you have any questions. Maybe I can try to write an update for you guys. Or if you want me to make another video on something certain like characterization and how to actually create your character and such and such. But anyway. Thank you guys for everything. Peace out.